Welcome back. Now our next guests are bringing Israeli technology to the rest of the world with their interesting new series, Tech Talk. The series is available on Amazon Prime and Apple TV and shows the very best in emerging new technology, innovation and entrepreneurship. Their series has already seen huge success and their content has been shared all around the world. Before I introduce you to these creative tech geniuses, let's take a quick look at the show. Oh my gosh. And inside an art gallery, there's a blank painting next to me, two broken eggs in the middle. Oh. There are my hands. Oh, there I am. Oh, yeah. there, is, there, there I am. am. There is virtual <laughs> Jesse. You can get very close to it. There is no objection to that. The detail's very good there as yeah. well, right? It's very, very high resolution. Yes, oh, it right. is. Hold it and push it. Push it as if... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so that's a oh thing. Oh my god, She's so cool. that's a real thing. Did you feel that? I feel weird telling you that I felt something that I know didn't happen, but yes, I <laughs> felt that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Don't drop it. Okay, there you great. Go. Jesse, we could get you in bomb okay. disposal. And, and then she <laughs> dropped it. Right. Actually, I changed my mind. No, no bomb disposal for you. Your brain simulates it as if you were preparing to move your own hand. Wow. Uh, this is called embodied simulation, and this is at the basis of much uh, research in experimental aesthetics. Now, Johnny Kaplan, who is the CEO, executive producer and host of the show, and Jesse Katz, who is the co-host, are joining me in studio now. Thank you so much, guys, for coming on the show. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. Now, maybe one day you'll get me on your show because you look like you're having a whole heap of fun there. <laughs> we Absolutely. do. Yeah. What made you come up with the idea of... Uh, what made you come up with the idea of selling the Israeli tech to the rest of the world? Right, so actually, I've been an entrepreneur since I've been 14 years old. Oh, um, fans. Something I've been exactly... <laughs> so, sorry, I've been a bit passionate about... Uh, yeah. Very driven. Um, I came to Israel about six or seven years ago and I saw lots of these amazing Israeli entrepreneurs and they just didn't really have a platform to reach the rest of the world. Um, so I started to help them a little bit um, and then we realized we really need to do this on a bigger scale. Not one by one, not with my own hands, but we need to show the rest of the world. So we developed Tech Talk um, and we launched it on Amazon Prime and Apple TV and uh, it's been in 63 countries now. We've had an amazing response and you know, great fun as you said. Absolutely. And Jesse, talk us through a little bit of how the how this uh, show has helped the entrepreneurs that have been involved with it with you. Um, well, first of all, I mean, it's great exposure. So totally. That's, yeah. Um, and the funny thing is actually Johnny got me involved um, just because he was looking for a co-host. And I was really interested because I love the fact, first of all, I love Israel, but I also love to be able to show the world that Israel's not just a war zone or everything you see on the news. And so that I think is, is even great exposure, not just for the companies, but also for Israel as a country because just people don't realize how much there is here, like a plethora of everything. There, there, there honestly is, and we have it every week. We have a, a, a um, segment dedicated to tech because there is so much going on. Yeah. Talk us through some of some of the pro products and some of the innovations that you guys have had on the show that have really shocked the rest of the world, and people have been mind blown for, by. Sure. One, one of the things that Jesse said is that Israel has such a vibrant mix of innovators. They had amazing technology here, and we had to launch season one in Israel because there was so much stuff to see. So on season one, you'll see things like flying cars. Uh, robots that look after the elderly, drones that fly into burning buildings to warn the firefighters, you know, 3D holographic surgery. Really, really cool stuff that's changing our planet and changing our world. And we, everybody wants to see it and hear about it. So, you know, we got these guys together, we made an amazing show that's very entertaining, and you get to see all of those amazing technologies. Totally. And do you, they've only had one season so far? Have we? So yeah, this, well, this is our first. Correct. This first, first season went live in October the 18th. Uh, season two will go live in February, which features New York-based companies, and season three is LA-based companies in June. Okay, and are we going to see this expand? Are we going to take Tech Talk? Is there going to be any other kind of talks that we might see coming up? Well, we have <laughs> Tech Talk Kids coming out, Tech Talk India, Tech Talk really? Africa. Yes. We have a sustainability title coming out. We have a female entrepreneur's title coming out. We have a robotics and AI title. You have the cannabis. Correct. We have a cannabis title, which I, which I missed. Um, I just interviewed the uh, Israeli um, agricultural minister, Uri Ariel, for the uh, cannabis show where we follow major cannabis cannabis brands like Tikkun Olam and, and other major uh, cannabis brands around the world. Um, so exciting titles. 
there's about 10 of them right now. And as you can see, Jesse and I never get any sleep. Uh, we have a very hardworking uh, all-star team uh, based in Israel, based in New York, based in LA. Um, and it's a fantastic project. Absolutely. It looks a lot of fun. And I'm quite jealous, actually. <laughs> I mean, I love you guys. Sorry, our 24 News trending is the best show in the world. Uh <laughs> We're coaching you. That's it. You're coming to our show. All right. Well, then you guys can come here every single week, too. Merger. We'll just, like, we'll just we'll merge. Exactly. <laughs> now, Jesse, tell us about, you know, how, how you guys put this together. You just said, mentioned before, Johnny, that you travel around. How long does it take for you to build a season? Well, first of all, I have to say that Johnny is the producer, and so a lot of the work that he does, he actually doesn't sleep ever. <laughs> so I could tell you it took us like a year to put it together, but realistically, I think it should have taken any other normal team like two and a half years. He just works constantly around the clock. So um, it, t it was great. He actually, we knew each other before it started, but uh, we were introduced by mutual friends. It's like a funny story. But, um, but then when we spoke about doing doing this, uh, it really clicked and it was like immediate. The second we talked about it, it kind of just took off and he got it rolling. I've never seen more of a doer than, than Johnny. Well, you go for it. I, I'm an entrepreneur. I mean, that's, that's all I know is to produce. And uh, as Jesse said, the normal procedures for TV production are very slow, very monotonous. And we didn't want to do that. We wanted to be entrepreneurial. So we were very gung-ho. We worked very fast, very hard. And we did it in about 18 months the entire season. We're now rolling out seasons in about six months. So we're doing it incredibly fast. And we've got an amazing team there to, to carry it out. Well, you both have incredible energy. So I have no doubt that, that, that <laughs> this just is a phenomenal production. Johnny and Jesse, thank you both so much. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank and you. good luck for your future seasons. Thank you. <laughs>